you want me to let the public in? Uh, yeah. Who's out the public? Diane Hall and John Grab. Grieb. Could be Grabby. Is it G-R-A-B-B-E? No, G-R-I-E-B. I'd say Grieb. Okay. Um, hi, Olga. All right. Bye. So, I'm gonna yeah, let him in. Let him, let him in and let's get this meeting going and over with. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Diane, why aren't you in Florida? She's muted. We're here. You're here, okay. We All right, let's bring this, let's bring this planning board meeting to order. Um, anything on notices or updates? No. Good. Okay. Right to the point. <clears throat> the last week's meeting. Uh, yeah. Yes, I'll go. Give me one minute to get a speaker. I'll be right back. I can't okay. hear very well. Okay. <sighs> I think it's a good thing to not hear very well sometimes. Especially me, huh, David? <laughs> oh, with that, I'm going to mute myself. Spoken like a true liberal. <laughs> Thanks for the Boy, compliment. that's a real clear, huh? <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. I'll take it. <laughs> you all set? On my computer is not very good. Okay, well, the speaker is certainly Thank working. Thank you. All right. Um, meeting last week. We voted to advertise a hearing for Contractors Yard to change from by right to special permit. We had two members, I believe, that voted against it. Correct. Um, I have placed, Karen's been out sick, um, and, but is helping me, but I have placed, and it will appear the ad for that hearing on the 16th of February at our second meeting. Mm -hmm. So it will hit the paper on Friday. So just to bring, all members up to speed, as of that advertising date, that particular change or possible change freezes that zoning in place. So I wanted to give the board members that update as to where we are on that particular part of this scenario. I had a chance to talk to one of the members <clears throat> Um, about their concerns and why they didn't vote. And um, since that individual is not bashful, and certainly if he wants to speak up, he will. Um, he said, Mr. Chairman, why did you make a special permit? Why didn't you just pull it? Suggest to pull it till we worked on it. And I said, gee, I said, I really didn't cross, it did cross my mind, but I wasn't sure where to go with that. And I said, why? And he said, well, I would have voted for it. I said, well, why didn't you bring it up? He said, well, I just kind of was gonna leave things alone. So the long and short is I thought about it, long and hard with that conversation. And I know can we I, had- Can I, can I ask yeah. you a question? What does Absolutely. it mean? What does it mean to pull it? Pull it means to literally change from permitted use instead of by special permit to withdraw it, to put a zero, not allowed. Not, oh, okay, okay. Okay. Until we can work on it. That's the idea. 
and uh, yeah. so not allowed temporarily, probably, while we recreate yeah. something else. You're right. all set. That would be the argument on town. That would be the discussion on town meeting floor. But the word temporary has to come out of there because once it is put that it comes out, it comes out. But right. we would have we would have time to work on it. So anyway, long and short is I started thinking about it and I said, you know, by moving it to special permit, what we're doing is, yes, airing it out to the abutters, but we're still putting a tremendous amount of pressure on the Board of Appeals because they really don't have any basis good good base except noise hazard and congestion to say okay it's still not limited on number of vehicles it's still not living a type of use it's still not limit um, limited it, it's just kind of thrown in their bailiwick and when and i'm sure he will jump in when he admits to the fact that we had a conversation whoever it was and said wait a minute jerry that's just fine but shouldn't we really think about why do we want to do that when really we want to tear this thing and think about it and just put a stop to it and take a deep breath and i said okay um let's let's get it before the board quickly town meeting is coming up see what their thoughts are we have already got into effect as of friday it would become it's it's at least a special permit if anybody wants to apply in before town meeting. Um, we can also parallel, and this was one of the good things. We could also parallel if we decide tonight to with to pull it out of the zoning and not make it allowed. I scheduled it far enough to the sixteenth of February so we could put both of them on the same agenda to see what kind of input was coming in. Are people leaning towards <clears throat> special permit or are they leaning towards, if we go that route in the future, at least limiting it and giving them more, more thought as to what really should go there and how much should go there. So that's the reason why this meeting was one week later is to find out from you, the members, um, whether or not you feel you would like to take that next step. And it, it is, we don't lose anything because we've already basically a, took a good first step. What we would be doing is kind of taking the next step. So with that said, I'll welcome any input from the board. Well, comments on what I just said, and he's still there. Yeah. Well, Jerry, I certainly could agree with that because that would allow a lot more time for deliberations and the very short notice. This will, I'm not sure how many lots are going to be impacted, but I certainly haven't had time to look at that. And I don't know, in general, that would be a fair operation. You know, we can look at the whole bylaw and maybe we will want to cure it or maybe not, but it does give us the opportunity to do so rather than to jump to just a special permit and consider that the solution. Because I'm not sure that that's the solution either. I wouldn't want to jump that quickly and go, yep, case done, all set. You know, so I can okay. favor for pulling it, so. Alfred, do you want to jump in now or do you want to hear more comments first? No, I'll make a fool out of myself now. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm opposed to the special permit application method only because I question if our definitions are strong enough to give the zoning board um, power they need or not need, depending on how you want to look at it. So, I mean, I think that if we write the zoning bylaws for different levels, we could probably recreate some of it by right, providing it's very well detailed. And the other part would be by special permit. Because 
the the definitions we have now, I still disagree with the building inspector, um, which is my right um, as, a, as a person of Wallfleet. Um, so we're, if I can disagree with them on something that it needs to be cleared up, I don't think that just going to a special permit is going to clear up some of the concerns um, or avenues, the, the, the loopholes, or whatever you want to call them in there. So that's why I think that pulling it and bringing it back with a better definition for maybe different levels. I mean, I want you to realize that my opinion is we need to have different levels, more levels than this than we do now. And that way, there some of it will still be by right, hopefully, and the stuff that's above that will definitely be a special permit. And I reread what we did as a planning board when we rewrote home occupation and then rewrote small business by permit, which was the next tier up if you grow out of a home occupation. And it really, I just look at all the bullets on page 55 and 56 in the zoning. And then I look at that definition for that, for those uses. And it's like, so far, 180 degrees. We've done such a good job on, on one side of it. And it's just, the other side is just wide open wild west. Mm -hmm. um, with that, Beth. I just wanna say, I think Alfred, it's brilliant. No, oh, please don't tell them that. <laughs> I think it is. I think it's brilliant. I, t I totally am uh, struck by it, this is the right solution. This isn't simple. We, and, and, you know, I think we, would, we were moving towards a simple response, but it really is not simple. Okay. I, I think uh, that... I mean, I'm going to pat myself on the back over that, but I think that she's very right. We, the, the simple solution was just to send it to the zoning board, and I'm glad that she wants to go further as far as working on it. Yeah, my, mine was, was a, rather than simple, because I, I'm called simple a lot, but mine was at least after talking to the town council, it was a step in the right direction. It wasn't a giant step. Um, and we may catch a little more flack when doing it this way, but it certainly is a step that I'm gonna concur with. David Mead Fox. Um, I agree with the idea. I'm not gonna go quite, I'm not gonna say again that Alpha is brilliant, but what I am gonna say is I agree with the idea of pulling the definition, having time to study it, bringing something up again a year from this, uh, town meeting, and I don't have an opinion yet about whether we should have tiers or special permit or anything else. And to me, that's why we need the time to work on this. And that's not really our topic for tonight anyway, I don't think. Um, but I think right. the next step that I would support is just pulling the definition, uh, have the, the combined um, public hearings on, this, on the 16th. I think that's great planning and uh, present it to the town and see what they decide. Okay. That, that, that was well said, David, that says that we don't know the answer, but we're willing to try to figure it out. I think right. that's the right response. Uh, Bonnie, yeah, I see you. So I, I, I mean, in principle, you know, partly because land is so scarce in Wellfleet anyway, and first, partly because what little available land there is for development um, it, uh, needs to go to affordable housing. Um, I am inclined to agree with, with you all, you know, that, that we should just, I mean, I, I don't know whether there are other other pieces of language we would need to fiddle with in order to just remove it. Um, but no. I guess what I would like to hear from somebody is who would be violently opposed to this and what would they say? I haven't heard the counter argument. Are you talking about our members? 
No, well, members or or just what what well, you all public. know from talking to people. I just you know just what well, that's, what are what are the arguments against just removing it and calling a pause and then you know really taking the time to des to um, design something good, which is I think is is the right way to go. And that's the reason for, and I'll go, I'm gonna, I, I saw you and I'm gonna go right there. But to answer, to answer your question, uh, Bonnie, is that's the reason for that public hearing is normally that's what triggers someone who has a concern one way mm -hmm. or the other to voice their opinion. So the mm -hmm. planning board can make a firm decision as to whether proceed to put it on town, meet, town meeting floor or okay. to pull it off town meeting floor. Um, and I think once the ad comes out Friday and I'm gonna hopefully have, depending on, I think the way this may go tonight, the ad in the following Friday, um, I think time is of the essence, input mm -hmm. is needed, but time is of the essence. Um, yeah. Olga. I just wanted to know if, the second uh, um, hearing that you said was for pulling out the, the zoning bylaw completely as an option. Does that make it essentially put a moratorium on these? Yeah. Yes. Okay. yes. I just want yes. that to be understood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If, if it got, okay. The, if the vote tonight was in favor to withdraw it from any kind of use on the use chart, that would basically freeze that zoning until town mm -hmm. meeting or till our public meeting, if we voted at that time to say, all right, we're gonna go back to the special permit and we're gonna pull the other, Gives us options. We're going to pull the special permit and keep the other. It gives us benefit. It gives us the ability and flexibility to go right. either way or both ways and put it on town meeting floor. And then what happens at yeah, town meeting? It, it, it basically, if this goes through, it basically stops for one week and makes it a special permit. And when it's advertised the following Friday, it stops the use period. So you can call it a moratorium, whatever. It stops any contractor's yard mm -hmm. from coming in until we have our meeting on the 16th and decide what we're gonna do and then goes to town meeting. And if we yeah, decide so we're going to go uh, ahead in that way on this meeting, at the end of the meeting on the 16th, then things are still frozen and then it goes to town meeting and the town will then decide whether they agree with us or not. If they disagree, then it could go back to the way things are now or, or, or they would agree with us. If we parallel Correct. it, it could go. And what I'm hoping I could get the selectmen to go along with it. I would hope that if we vote tonight to withdraw the use that when we get to town meeting if we choose to leave both of them for discussion on town meeting floor that the selectmen would put withdraw period first yeah special yeah. permit second so if it got withdrawn at least as a backup to say okay you don't want the use withdrawn completely but you want to go to special permit we would still have to work on it but we've at least taken a step that's kind of where I'm playing ahead, David. The, the other thing that I'm struck, struck by thinking a little bit about objections is, can we also say not an actual time limit, but it's, has, it's that in effect that we intend to come back to town meeting the following year with a recommendation about a reworked uh, contractor's yard definition or something to that effect. It yeah, I think David, that would be in the in the in the uh, in the voter book where you explain the zoning articles. That right. would be the appropriate section to put that under. When but, I make the presentation. 
by it, making yeah. that commitment, then if somebody's worried about the um, pulling of the definition being unending for a hundred years, um, yeah, then we've said no. We're going to get a recommendation back to the town in a year. And Wait. the way the way I see, of course, I have not seen the warrant, but the way I at least trust it's going is planning board stuff is usually at the end of the meeting to, to hold the quorum. I'm, I'm almost positive that we will be dealing with the codification subject well before these articles came on board. So mm -hmm. in, addition to, in addition to say that we would be working on the article for the next year, we get the benefit of approving the codification and to go to the codification company and say, listen, mm -hmm. give yeah. me contract the yard definitions in all of the states, all of the towns in wealth, uh, Massachusetts like ours and send them to us so we can pick through them free of charge. Right. So that yeah. codification yeah. Is, is really gonna help us after town meeting. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Um, Olga. In what paper is this published, the hearing? Date and time. I, I leave that generally, generally I don't really don't even get involved, but because Karen was out and time was of the essence, I handed it in to Jeannie Mack. Um, I think because it came in on, a, um, I did it on Monday morning, first thing, I think Jeannie Mack made the decision because I said I would like this done as soon as possible because of cutoffs, and Karen is certainly here, she can rectify or clear it up if necessary. It got in the Cape Cod because of, we had Correct. the time, so that's where it would go. Okay. And we would do the same advertising, the same thing. But we sometimes don't, Jerry, it's, we, yep. We don't have control over that. That's done by the advertising department, but um, the Cape Cod was where it went in. Right, and it, it was able to get in sooner there, we might have missed a time schedule where ads have to be in a certain time, but we got it in very quickly from the time I submitted it. It was in and ready to go in the paper by Monday uh, noontime. Yeah, I was just wondering, Provincetown seems to be using the Provincetown Independent and we do it's too. a paper that I read and I'd, I'd like to see it in there. But I, I'll mention it to Jeannie Mack. She won't put it in unless it's directed by me. She she won't do that for, she's not instructed to do that unless the board wants to. So and now we're into our, now we're into our budget because that those ads come out of our budget. Um, you know, there's got to, I, I think there needs to be, if we get that far, I think there needs to be a consistency. If we, the first one went into the Cape Cod, or the second one needs to go in the Cape Cod. Or. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. If, but I'm, if, I'm just asking if from now on we could try using the Provincetown Independent. We do, if time is not of the essence. They have different dates that you have to submit by, and, oh, and it, it might not work with the calendar that you're planning the meeting to be. Right, could have been we another. Have to have week. two full weeks. Yeah, exactly, and then it has to be advertised twice okay. before the hearing. So these are all the things that we have to work yeah. with, especially when we get this late into filing stuff at town meeting. Um, if the members don't have anything, I'm just going to ask anybody out there if they've got a question that's specific to the discussion of the zoning bylaw only. Is there? Because the only one I see out there at this point is Diane. That's not only Diane. That's the only. That's I see you still there. <laughs> I gotta be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Diane, you have anything? Now she's muted. Okay. You have anything? Uh, I, I just don't understand why the commercial bylaws are so simple. Oh. Um, Peter, Peter, yeah. Peter and I were wondering just why um, commercial and commercial two are, are there's hardly any stipulations 
when we look at all the information under what's approved under commercial and commercial two, you know, has very detailed. Is much so has so many lines of details. Well, C2, the reason for that, and the only thing I can think of, because I'm not too sure how many members were involved with redesigning C2 district, Diane, is that C2 is substantially more residential in nature than commercial. Okay. Um, the, but you're absolutely right. If you look at home occupation, if you look at the next step step from home occupation to a um, to a business with more employees and, and different things, there are a large number. There's a number of bullets. I think the home occupation's probably got 18 of them. The um, next one has at least 12, and the C2 district with contractor's yard has, I think another 10 bullets. And then when you get to commercial for contractor's yard, there's zero bullets. Yeah. Because it's describing the commercial district, which is according to our definition, supposed to be more oriented towards business than the C2. Um, and that's one of the problems that I think has arisen in this case is there wasn't enough bullets and very little is, per, is a permitted use by right in the commercial district or the C2 district. And this just didn't jive with the rest of our zoning. Right. And consequently <clears throat> things happened and now we've got to try and clean it up. I see, thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. I think they were the only ones, and I think they've got their questions asked. And, um, members, anything else, basically? Um, Funny. Yeah, I just want to know. So maybe I misunderstood something was said a little earlier in the meeting. I mean, if we vote to what we're doing with our vote is simply uh, articulating an article that will be presented to town meeting, right? Like, does no. our vote have any immediate force in the terms of preventing some other, you know, very large contractor's yard to be put in the C2 district? C2 district? Yes, yes. But oh, how, I'll, so I'll how come, does it I'll, do I'll come that? Back, I'll come back to, um, and, and I know, and this is why everybody on town meeting floor does have a problem with zoning because it is complicated. And yeah. you, you guys as new members, it is, it is complicated. Um, the first way we change zoning is to have a hearing. Mm -hmm. And Mass General Law basically says that if you're gonna have a hearing to change zoning, it mu must be publicized twice, mm -hmm. two weeks prior to the hearing. Right. Once the first advertising is made, you can talk about the subject for a year, for two years at meetings. You can talk about it. But the, and you can then vote to have a hearing that still leaves it on avail that still leaves it available for someone to use that bylaw. Until that hearing is advertised for the first time, not both times, just the first time, that is considered by Mass General Law as due notice to everyone that there has been a advertised hearing on a zoning bylaw change and that effectively freezes the zoning based on that ad. Oh. So the, as of tomorrow, um, Karen, does the Cape Cod still coming out on Thursdays or Friday? 
My understanding, it was Friday. Okay. Friday. So as of the discussion that we're having tonight, still leaves that bylaw in effect. As of Friday, the minute that paper comes out, that special permit on a contractor's yard is required if anybody wants to go forward. Ah. Once we take a vote, if we take a vote tonight to do the same thing we did last week and withdraw the use as a permitted right in those two districts for contractor's yard, and it gets advertised the following Friday, a week from this Friday, that freezes basically to August point, a moratorium on all contractors yard until we have the hearing. Wow. So the next, okay. the next step then goes to the hearing. Okay, it's frozen to the hearing. We have a hearing. If at that hearing, we hear from the general public and we say, listen, we, we totally were off the wall. We totally didn't get it. It was overwhelming that the individuals don't want it. We have the right to take a vote and say, okay, we now are going to withdraw that information in that hearing uh, to place uh, that warrant article. It goes back to the way it is. Um, so it stops everything until that point, once we have the hearing, the public hearing. And if the public hearing is a vote to send it to town meeting, it continues that moratorium. Okay. Right to town meeting. Got it. And that's okay. when town meeting makes a decision. Did that Great. help clear it up? Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Everybody else made up their mind? Okay. Any motion? Alfred, do you want to do the honors? Not particularly. <laughs> he may be having afraid to look over his shoulder. So well, I, I think I think that everybody realize needs to realize that if we do this, that we are taking zoning into our own hands, not waiting for the town meeting to do something. We're doing it ourselves. That's right. Which is the mechanism that is designed to work that way. But I just want you all, for anybody who is isn't clear on this. Mm -hmm. A, a vote to do a motion to change any part of zoning to freeze it is our as us doing it, not the town at this point. This is going to be the planning board only until we get to town meeting. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. As long as every as long as everybody's totally aware of that. Right. Yeah, totally. There could be Ma some heat. Oh, there will be. Yeah. Yeah, and you're going to have. Um, you know, Bonnie asked the question, we're going to, obviously I was in the contractor's position for years. Um, uh, I know fellow contractors that are going to be upset and say, wait a minute, what are you doing? Well, if you take a serious look at how long that bylaw has been in effect, in the 180 degrees that it's been used twice from one side to the other, it has not been used that much at all. And it is restricted to, a dis to two districts. So the reality is, yes, you may feel like something's being taken away. However, I think a lot of them in my mind, and this is where we don't know until town meeting or a public hearing is gonna say, you know, maybe it was taken advantage of, and yes, we still need it. And we're gonna keep the pressure on you to reanalyze it, but it really needs to be reanalyzed. But we see that when you only use a bylaw twice and you go to the extremes when it's used, that maybe it needs to be cleaned up. Yeah. So, yeah, I think there will, you know, members, I think there will be some heat, there will be some discussion and, you know, with all due respect, that's what we need as members is discussion as to hear from the public and maybe they don't wanna do it in front of a Zoom meeting, but they're willing to catch us at the post office or they're willing to catch us at a, <laughs> over a cup of coffee or something and, and unload. Well, that goes with the territory. Right. 
Um, right. And it's yeah. our job to listen, you know, right. and take all that. But so I think I, I concur certainly with Alfred is, yeah, there's going to be some contractors to say, what are you doing? But at the same time, it's like, okay, as a planning board, we, we are responsible for the best interest of the entire town of Wellfleet, mm -hmm. not just a certain small segment, large segment, whatever segment, we're, we're here for the entire town. Mike, you came in late. You got any comment before we take a vote? Uh, I'm not going to make a comment because I didn't hear what came before. Okay. And, uh, I, I, I won't, I won't make a comment, even though I have plenty to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. does, that does that surprise me? <laughs> Good in. Um, and th there's a prime example to the rest of the planning board members is, okay, Mike chose not to, but there's a situation where an individual, we can be certain will weigh in and that's the process at that public hearing um, for, for the input. That's um, what we want. And that's that's what we want. Um, so, yeah, Alfred's right. provides the forum to do so. Exactly. And the forum for us is when we make zoning bylaws is not just to be able to talk about them and say, we're going to put it on town meeting and leave the door wide open for it to continue until we have that town meeting. Because these kind of things can happen six months prior to. So we could have made this decision six months ago and the state says, so long as it's six months from the date of your town meeting, that mm. meeting is it, that's in force. So mm. this could have gone for six months already. So um, I think we're being fairly reasonable on it. All right, members, anybody want to make a motion? Uh, go ahead, Bonnie. Yeah, so I'm just um, looking at the agenda. So the motion is to um, so so it's the, so is the motion to present a nope. bylaw revision nope. to nope. town meeting. Nope. No. no, okay, nope. what is the motion? I, I have a motion. I'm clear on the concept. All right, to help out whoever wants to make it. I'll make the motion that we remove contractor's yard from the use table. All right. Well, I would put in like... front of that that we, sh we should hold a public hearing. There you go. To discuss removing it from the use table? No. Nope. What you need is David was on the right, David Fox, I mean, David Rao was on the right, right track. What you need to do is make a motion to change in the use table 5.3.2 permitted right um, for yeah. contractor's yard change from permitted right to admitted sorry, change contractor's yard from a permitted right in the commercial and C2 district to an O which is not allowed that's basically the the motion it's understood, David Mead Fox. Yeah. Okay. That that motion leads to a discussion and a public hearing. Right. It triggers the public hearing. Okay. Exactly. Yep. It doesn't have to be yep. in the motion. Motion normally has to be real clear. So it's down and not, dirty. So sh shouldn't it be pending? No. It moves it Simple. pending a, a, a public hearing. No. 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 We, ha we have it's, to have it's a basically hearing. it's basically the motion is the change to remove it use to zero to no no use it is understood that that is pending until you have a public hearing okay so we, right. we could change so our mind part of the motion but it's understood and we could right. change our minds it, at the public hearing and we and then the town could decide what it's going to decide at town meeting and that could change things too if Correct. we if if we at the public hearing on the 16th mm -hmm. if this passes right now we're going to have we have three possibilities actually four one to leave both articles for town meeting two 
pull both articles from town meeting. Three, pull one of the two, pull special permit and leave, pull it completely or pull completely and leave it to a special permit. The, the public hearing is where we take the next step to either continue it to town meeting or withdraw and rescind the, um, our vote to put it on town meeting floor. Hmm. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So you're not locked in. And the reason for this is the planning board, is, as Alfred said, is, is taking a step. The planning board with seven members is making a zoning bylaw change that becomes effective in a very reasonable Friday. time when it's advertised. We have the right to withdraw that based <clears throat> on the hearing or continue it and put it on the town warrant. You see that? You see that reasoning? Yeah. Okay. So that's, that would be the clear motion is simply to change the use schedule. I'm not saying pull a definition because the definition can be there, but it can't go anywhere because it's zeros in every district. It's simply changing the permitted use to no, not, a, not allowed use. Not allowed, yeah. That's basically right. it. David, David Rao was on the right, I think was certainly on the right track. It just didn't need to get clouded. Yeah. And I, I just want to clarify that this motion would have no effect on existing yards. This Correct. is only for anything new. This yep. basically, right. until the hearing, and then if it passes the hearing, until town meeting, <laughs> I don't mean to confuse you all, this makes anyone that has a contractor's yard in use, a pre-existing non-conforming use. Got it. Right. And it's been pulled. It's no longer right. use viable, um, especially if it gets passed tonight. It's still viable if you vote it down tonight because it's by special permit. But if it gets pulled, then it's a pre becomes for a short period of time until probably town meeting a pre-existing non-conforming use. So those individuals that have it can continue with it, but they can't expand it. Right. right. All right. <clears throat> David, you want to continue that motion or, or restate it? I, th I think that was clear that we'll change the use tables from a permitted use to an omitted use in the C2 and the, and the commercial district. Okay. Any second? Second. David seconded. Any discussion from the members? Seeing none, just for my edification and simplicity, I'm just gonna go right down the aisle. Beth, how do you vote? Yes. David Mead? Yes. David Rao? Yes. Bonnie? Yes. Alfred? Yes. Jerry? Yes, unanimous. Olga. Olga, I'm sorry. I'm looking, staring right at you. Olga. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm still right, unanimous. Thank you. All right, everybody get it? Yep. I'm going to yep. get this in the paper as soon as I can. Um, I, ex I expect on the 16th we will have a full house. Um, yep, that's so what I hope. I think you all probably need to, to, to look at it. And we voted on it now twice. We voted to, to first make it a special permit, second to take the next year to just to stop it and consider it and have our reasoning in place when we have that open meeting because we're going to get some pointed questions and we should have the we should have the answers. Mm -hmm. All right. I see nothing else. Um, now we have a regular scheduled meeting and I'm not leaking to, be, um, to beat any of you up for next week, because that would be the second meeting in, uh, in January. Mm -hmm. I, to this date, have not received any approval, not requires, or any other business. Are the members satisfied that we can move this to the first meeting in February, which would 
which would basically be the um, the knife. I'd make my parole officer happy. <laughs> Why does does he or she have you on a short leash? Very short leash. <laughs> Congratulations to your parole officer. <laughs> uh, so the next February, I'm sorry, February 2nd, right? I'm sorry. It is, that, thanks, David. We're both on the same wavelength. Make sure you check on Jerry. Um, the chair. Uh, yes, that would mean that the next meeting would be the 2nd of February, um, 7-14. That still gives us a good amount of time that if anything comes in on an approval not required plan, we can still deal with it at a meeting. And um, no. then the 16th, um, and then we're getting closer and closer to, to um, town meeting. And then we aim for the 16th to have the double public hearing. Yes, and that I can I can schedule yeah. schedule the special permit first, schedule the withdrawal second, and then open both of them and mutually discuss them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So we're we're canceling the January nineteenth meeting. That is correct. First Good. meeting will be February second. Okay. Okay. Yep. I thank you all for for pulling something this quick, quick and. Yep. Don't we have to do the minutes? Gary, do you want to do the minutes? Yeah. yeah. Well, yes. Anybody have any changes of deletions or corrections on those minutes? Uh. I'll go. Wait, I just want to, um, um, okay. Um, on the third bullet of Ryan Curley's affordable lots, it says single or dual ownership. I think common ownership was what was intended. It doesn't matter what was intended. What was said well, was intended by the writer. I think, I think, I think Karen listens to the tape and what was said was in the minutes. I, I can't remember what he said, whether he said. Well, then what, really, is dual, really, what, it, what is dual ownership? Well, I don't know, but that's what was said. Dual ownership, I think he was trying to say is joint ownership. ownership. Husband and wife generally, or, right. or two people uh, rather than singular. Okay. Uh, and that's the problem with a lot of those small lots is two parties took title to the first per, uh, lot and they bought the second lot at the same time and a single party took ownership of the second lot. That is considered, even though they're related, that is considered separate ownership. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that makes both of those individual properties buildable unless zoning bylaws change and increase zoning for a set period of time. And then they're merged basically by the building, by the tax mm -hmm. office, if need be for size and frontage. So whatever he said is what Karen quoted. Um, it's not up to us to correct him in the minutes. Hmm. Okay. Done. I'm, I'm we, we approve the minutes as printed. I'll second. second. Um, I saw David move up second. I saw Alfred move. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Done. Hey, Jerry. Before David we move. close, I have one other really important motion that we don't actually have to vote on. I'd like to move that we recognize and celebrate that we finished a meeting in less Before than one hour. <laughs> Do I have a second? Thank you, David. <laughs> second. Second. <laughs> you probably have a unanimous on that, David. Thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> I like to close the meeting, David. That's your that's your role. Get us out of here for now. <laughs> Move to adjourn. Karen, hang up on all of them. <laughs> all right. <laughs> hey, thank you very much. Good night. 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 Good night.